camp instructor, Mr. Bell, is talking to Josie and Charlotte outside the camp hall. Girls, I am very disappointed in your team. I know it's your first year leading the team, but I expected more out of you two. We're sorry. You know it's our responsibility to know where our campers are at all times. Yeah, we thought our campers knew better than to run off in the middle of a meeting. Well, it's your job as team leaders to make sure they don't. I'm going to give you both a write-up, and I'm taking away five points from Team Panesh. Okay, Mr. Bell. It won't happen again. Later that day, Carl, Josie, Charlotte are having a conversation. It'll be okay, guys. We can come back from this. How do we get our campers to listen to us? It's hard to explain kids this stuff for a boring meeting. I think they'll listen and follow instructions the more we have fun together. So we start focusing on playing games and practicing for events coming up. Nick overhears them and walks in on the conversation. Our next event's rowing. I wonder how fun the kids are going to find that. We could find ways to make it fun, like singing fun songs to go with the rhythm of rowing. Who's going to take the reins on this one? I don't know much about this sport. I think this is a good opportunity for someone to showcase some hidden talents. I think Nick's really this one. I've seen him work before. I bet he thought I didn't know. Okay, Nick can take this one. You might be able to motivate the campers more than you think. <laughs> 